Edward Kinghols was born on October 23rd, 1927. He grew up with his parents at a farm and that is where he learned how to craft. He dropped out of college to continue his art. Edward is an atheist artist, although his mother was really religious. Kinghols art talks about American culturalism like social politics, race, and gender in the late 20th century in America. His art is mostly funk and pop art. Most of his work was used with mannequins and stuffed animals. With that, he created life-size sculptures. A lot of his creations were with his fifth wife, Nancy Kinghos. They created many successful pieces. Once Edward passed away on June 10, 1994, due to a heart attack, Nancy continued Edward's style of art. Kinghos had diabetes, and while he was climbing a mountain, that's when he got a heart attack and passed away. Some of his best creations were Backseat Dodge 38, Five Car Stud, and The Beanery. Most of his art was at Los Angeles County Museum of Art. The first time he opened his images towards his crowd, the police tried to shut it down. A lot of people thought his art had to do with pornography, which it really wasn't. This image is of government corruption. These are a couple of art sculptures Edward Kinghose and Anthony Kinghose did together. This one is called The Merry Go World. And this one is The Poor Hall. And lastly, this one is called The Art Show. Nancy Kinghose did a lot of installation art. Installation art is a genre of three-dimensional work. They had their own studios in Berlin and in Hope, Idaho. That is where they did most of their work at. The art I will be talking about is the State Hospital. It was a mixed media and its dimensions are 8 by 12 by 10 inches. In this image, you see a physically and mentally injured human lying down while he is tied to his bed, and its head is replaced with a fishbowl. Inside the fishbowl, there is a living fish. This resembles how his thoughts were restricted how he was trapped with nobody to talk to. The cartoon bubble resembles that he is dreaming about himself. In the bottom right, you can see where he would have to use the bathroom. He did not have much privacy. When the walls are white, the term used is white torture. It is a type of psychological torture which causes anxiety, bizarre thoughts, and depression. This image shows hospital abuse, and the reason Edward Kinghose did this image was because he used to work in a mental institution and he was able to witness all the abuse the patients went through from the workers. 
He worked in a mental hospital institution in his early 20s. And he did not like anything he seen when the patients were being abused. That's why he then created this image. Hospital abuse was everywhere around the world in the 20th century. They would give patients injections so they can die or suffer more from what they already were. Due to poor equipment they had and actually no cure for the disease, they would take the easy way out. In other words, if you were put in the hospital because you were sick, you will mostly end up dying in there. The dark colors in the image the state hospital represents death. As you can see in the picture, he is laying down naked with no energy. And you can tell by the position he is in. Also, another sign of abuse can be shown in this image because of how thin his arms and legs are. He probably has not been fed for a couple of days. And when they did get food, they were only given a small amount. They did not get much. In this clip, you see a patient suffering in their early 20s. This is one of the hospitals in Scotland where there was a lot of abuse. This place was called the Hartwood Hospital. Even young kids were treated poorly. As you can tell, the kid on the left, you can see his bones like he has not been fed in a while. And most of the parents of the children sent them there and asked so they could get better, but because they couldn't handle taking care of them anymore. So they had the hospitals take care of them now instead. In my art, I am laying down in bed, tied down, wearing white because that is how most of the hospitals had their patients. The reason I decided to use this recreation of the state hospital is because Edward Kinghole's art was mostly used with real life size images. And most of them were created with mannequins, closest thing to actual people. In Edward Kinghole's sculptures, he would use actual people but just replace their heads in the image. He used real furniture in his projects, like real beds, real lamps, real fish, and plenty of other things.